Hi everybody, Susan Davis from Susan Davis Nutrition here. Um, I've been wanting to make a, a delicious Moroccan soup um, called Harira for a long time now. And um, so finally today I'm going to make one and um, I thought I'd make a video about it. So Harira is a soup that's tradi traditionally eaten um, during the Ramadan months to break the fast. Um, obviously every household will make it differently and I think there's variations of uh, um, of this soup along uh, northern um, Africa uh, regions. So um, I've gone through some recipes and this will be my take on it. Um, so what I'm going to do first, I'll put the uh, lamb in because I'm, I'm getting it on a little bit late really. It should cook for about three hours at least because I'm using um, some lamb, scrag, scraggy bits and um, suitable for stewing and they've got these lovely bones in them which will flavour the soup. But um, obviously, if you're not, um, if you don't like eating meat, you can keep your vegetarian. Uh, just go with some vegetarian stock, and you don't need to put the meat um, in there. So I'll talk you through the ingredients. So this is just going to literally sweat in some olive oil in the pan gently, and then I'll be adding some um, grated onion and some chopped celery. And in the base, we're going to use some, some lovely chopped um, fresh tomatoes. Um, and the basis of the soup, the main ingredients are uh, chickpeas. These I've actually cooked them before, but if you want to uh, cook them with the lamb, you would use chickpeas that you soaked um, the night before and then you can cook it with the lamb. And I'm going to use some uh, red lentils and some uh, uh, green lentils because these are the ones I've got at home. Now, traditionally this soup is um, thickened at the end with um, a flour and water mixture, but I'll be keeping my gluten free and I'll be checking the consistency and if I don't think it needs to be thickened, I won't be doing that. Now, to flavour it, I'm going to use some uh, cooking powder or some milk powder, some uh, ground cinnamon, some ground um, ginger, and a tiny pinch of cinnamon and salt and pepper and the most uh, delicious thing about it is um, it's been flavoured with lots of chopped uh, fresh coriander and lots of chopped um, fresh parsley. So I'll get back to you when I've come to the second stage. So I'm just going to chop up my um, celery for the soup. you can actually mince this um, in your um, blender, um, sort of the Robocop one that goes around like that on a blade. Um, and the, the onion I'm going to grate by hand. And in Moroccan uh, cuisine they do a lot of uh, grating of the onions um, by hand. And that gives the, um, the stews and the soups like a nice uh, texture. Um, and it becomes like part of the sauce, like not separate from the sauce. So I'm going to do that. That's something that um, we use in um, Cypriot cuisine as well. Um, the older generation would sort of um, grate the, the onions, grate the tomatoes with it before they incorporate it into their uh, meat dishes, depending on what they're doing. So let's pop that in there. So, um, I'll show you my meat first. I've actually switched the fire off. So I've coloured the meat. It's got a little bit of colour on there. Um, we're not doing very well with light today. Um, so that's ready to take the vegetables now. And the next thing I'm going to do, that can go back on, break the onion. Let's put it on a low. I've got a large onion here. And I'm going to grate it on the coarse side. So I'm going to cook the base down for a bit. So I'll just show the texture of the onion. It becomes something like a really nice, wet, um, mushy substance. 
I think I'll be adding a one carrot or two carrots, grated carrots also to the base. So we've got like lots of um, vegetables happening in there. And once this vegetable base is cooked down and becomes soft, I'll be adding the spices and sweating them all up together. And then um, it'll be ready to take um, all the uh, pulses in the legumes rather and add, water will be added. Um, I've seasoned the meat already so I've put a bit more seasoning in there and I'll be chopping up um, my herbs and um, my tomato to add it to it in there as well. So we can pause. So here we are, we've got our grated onions and celery in there. Let's give it a little mix. I'm going to add the spices to that. Here we go. Lovely. What I like about Moroccan cuisine is um, the spices are, that is used, although they've got used a lot of spices, they actually use them in like in very light, gentle way in their soups and some of their uh, stews, and it gives it a really lovely um, essence and sort of scent to the dish. It's never overpowering, and it's just very sort of um, all the long and slow simmering um, really brings out the flavour in each ingredient in the dish. So I'm going to cook this a little bit. I'm going to add the grated carrot as I've mentioned already. What I want to do is I just want to cook it till those, the onions, oh I can smell that now. I can smell the cumin and the turmeric. It's lovely. Mm, delicious. So we're going to let that uh, simmer. At this stage we can actually put, put a lid on and then just let it simmer and go, go to it and give it another mix. So I'm just going to grate the carrot and add that to that. And then when we're ready, we'll put the water and some of the other ingredients in together. Okay, so we've got some grated carrot. Yeah. Set it to the pot. Just show you my pot. You don't you see the meat's all covered in the spices. The onions are looking nice and soft. So now we're ready to go to the next stage. Okay, so let's add the carrots, give it a stir. Then I'm going to add the pulses, the legumes. That's a lovely, delicious looking at. Let's add the water. Now I'm not going to count my water, but I probably will be adding about two litres of water to this soup. Um, because there's quite a lot of um, chick, sort of, um, not that much chickpeas, but quite a lot of um, lentils there. So probably um, all, this, um, all these ingredients will thicken the soup without the need to adding um, flour or rice flour to thicken it. So now I've, I've soaked my lentils overnight, but you don't have to do that. Lentils actually cook quite quickly, but um, Soaking them overnight will um, make them cook quicker and they also make them, will make them more digestible. So that's um, a good trick to know. Hi. So now what I'm going to do is, um, I've got these um, roasted um, peppers, the sweet peppers, just in brine, preserved in brine. So those been waiting to be used up for quite a while on my shelf. So I'm going to add that to my recipe. I'm going to puree them in the blender. Um, you can add things like paprika or sweet um, red chilli pepper if you like to the recipe. So instead of that, I'm going to be adding um, the peppers that have been preserved in a puree. And at this stage, got my um, tomatoes all chopped, I've got like two large tomatoes there, a bit of tomato puree as well, so what we're going to do is just add a little bit of the soup to the tomato puree to loosen it up, that just makes it help um, mix them evenly, more, 
and tomato puree, depending on how much you put, will help to thicken the soup as well. Let's try to put this uh, pepper paste in there. So. Let's bring the camera forward so you can see the soup. in there. It's looking good already. Put that in there. So normally I'd like to cook this for about three hours um, because the lamb is on the bone and that's how long it will take for them to extract the flavour and for the lamb meat that's a touch of the bones to become nice and tender. There we are. And next I'm going to chop up some herbs. So I've got a nice um, small bunch of fresh coriander and a nice bunch of fresh black leaf parsley. I'm actually going to chop the stems up as well, the stalks. Just taking off the ends. This one. Of the ends. Let's turn this on alone. You can actually put this in right at the beginning when you're frying the onions and the other veg, but I'm, I'm going to add mine now and they'll have a chance to cook in there really nice and slow. And when the uh, when it comes to serving this soup, I'll be chopping up some fresh um, herbs to go, to go on top. Okay, so. There's lots of minerals in our herbs. Uh, coriander is really good for detoxification. Uh, it binds to heavy metals. And coriander, um, and parsley is a really good source of um, calcium, magnesium. The greener the better. I always like to use um, Italian uh, flat leaf parsley. I think um, it's got lots of good flavour in there. to go too crazy about chopping that too much. I'm go in the pan. Let's bring the camera forward a wee bit. There we are. That's it. It's looking nice. The colour is looking beautiful. Get that parsley in there and the coriander. Put chilli in here if you like. I'll probably be serving mine with some harissa paste, stir, stirred in at the last minute. When the soup's done, I'll be flavouring it with some fresh lemon juice. If you want, you can add in things like um, at the end or serve it with some preserved lemon. That would be a really nice addition to it as well. Bring out all those um, Moroccan flavours. So that's looking absolutely fantastic. All we've got to do is let it simmer and cook through. So to serve the soup, first I want to get a little bit of meat out. To thicken the soup, I've taken a little bit of the um, some of the pulses and the liquid, and I've blitzed it up. So that's enough um, to um, thicken the soup for me. There's no need to add flour. Now I'm just taking the meat off the the bone and I'll add that to the bowl. It's quite a high protein soup with all the um, lentils and meat in there. Let's just put this to one side. Okay. It's a great um, cup for uh, cooking slowly. Let's leave that to one side. And pop a lamb in the bowl. You know your um, lamb is cooked enough when you can clear it off the bone with a fork and a spoon. No need to cut it off. So now we can serve our soup. Before it gets cold. Add 
add some chopped coriander and some chopped parsley in there. And then I like to squeeze a little bit of lemon on top. And there we are. A nice bowl of curry rasu. So the proof is in the pudding. I've added a little bit of um, harissa to my harry rasu, so that's giving me a nice bit of a bit more spiciness and a bit of chili kick to it. Mm. The lamb is cooked really nice and soft. All the all the like the um, chickpeas and the lentils are giving you lovely textures, and they're all cooked soft. And the vegetables are just like melting in all the other ingredients with the spices. Mmm, very nice, very wholesome. Delicious, absolutely wonderful. I hope you all give this a super try. I really recommend it. Great source of fibre. Really good for gut health.